Daddy Long Legs is a 1912 epistolary novel by the American writer Jean Webster. It follows the protagonist, a young girl named Jerosha Judy Abbott, through her college years. She writes the letters to her benefactor, a rich man whom she has never seen. Plot Summary Jerusha Abbott was brought up at the John Grier home, an old-fashioned orphanage. The children were wholly dependent on charity and had to wear other people's cast-off clothes. Jerusha's unusual first name was selected by the matron off a gravestone, while her surname was selected out of the phone book. At the age of 17, she finished her education and is at loose ends, still working in the dormitories at the institution where she was brought up. One day, after the asylum's trustees have made their monthly visit, Judy is informed by the asylum's door matron that one of the trustees has offered to pay her way through college. He has spoken to her former teachers and thinks she has potential to become an excellent writer. He will pay her tuition and also give her a generous monthly allowance. Judy must write him a monthly letter, because he believes that letter writing is important to the development of a writer. However, she will never know his identity. She must address the letters to Mr. John Smith, and he will never reply. Jerosha catches a glimpse of the shadow of her benefactor from the back, and knows he is a tall long-legged man. Because of this, she jokingly calls him Daddy Longlegs. She attends a girls' college on the East Coast. She illustrates her letters with childlike line drawings, also created by Jean Webster. The book chronicles Jerosha's educational, personal, and social growth. One of the first things she does at college is to change her name to Judy. She designs a rigorous reading program for herself and struggles to gain the basic cultural knowledge to which she, growing up in the bleak environment of the orphan asylum, was never exposed. At the end of the book, the identity of Daddy Long Legs is revealed as Master Jervy whom she had met and fallen in love with while she was still unaware that he was Daddy Longlegs. Dedication, the book is dedicated to you. Today this book is often classified as children a Euro unregistered trademark s literature, but at the time it was part of a trend of girl, or college girl books which featured young female protagonists dealing with post-high school concerns such as college, career, and marriage. These books predated the contemporary view of adolescence. Other authors who wrote in this vein include L. M. Montgomery and Louisa May Alcott. Themes The themes of this book reflect upon Webster's interests in social work and women's suffrage. Some scholars have criticized Daddy Longlegs as being an anti feminist fairy tale, while others have argued that Judy shows growing independence, including increasing disobedience to her benefactor and his wishes, and indeed succeeds in educating Daddy Longlegs that he cannot control her and that his socialism needs to move from the academic into real life. Film, TV and theatrical adaptations, this book was Webster's best-known work. Webster herself adapted it into a stage play which debuted in 1914. In addition, it was adapted into a 1952 British stage musical comedy called Love from Judy, as well as films in 1919, 1931, 1935 and a 1955 film, Daddy Long Legs. The latter two film versions departed considerably from the plot of the original novel. In Japan, Daddy Long Legs was made into a musical anime TV special in 1979 by Totsunoko Productions, directed by Masakazu Higuchi of Superbook fame with Yako Tanaka as the voice of Judy. The Totsunoko TV special was released, dubbed in English, on home video in the United States. This was followed in 1990 by the TV serial Watashi no Ashinaga Ajai San, directed by Kazushi Yokota for the Nippon Animation Studio as that year's installment of the studio's world masterpiece theatre. It notably makes Judy younger, with Daddy Long Legs paying her tuition for high school, not college. One of Japan's long standing charities, properly called the Foundation for Orphans from Automobile Accidents, takes its inspiration as well as its nickname from the novel, providing financial support to fatherless children and calling itself the Ashinaga Ajai Sanbokin or Daddy Long Legs Fund. In 2005, the Korean movie Kadari Ajiyoshi was released. The film starred Ha Ji Won and Yin Yong Hoon. In India, the novel was adapted into a Malayalam movie, Kanamarethu in 1984. 
directed by I. V. Sarsi and screenplay by P. Padmarajan, it starred Mamuti as the benefactor, Shibena as the orphan and Riemann as her lover, in the lead roles. Mamuti won the Kerala Film Critics Association Award for the Best Actor in 1985 for his role. In 2009, Daddy Long Legs was made into a two-person musical play by John Carreed and Paul Gordon, which premiered at the Rubicon Theatre Company and Theatre Works. In 2013 and 2014, Daddy Long Legs was put on stage in Hong Kong. HTTP, www.facebook.com slash Chuangdian Theatre. See also Dear Enemy, the 1915 sequel to Daddy Long Legs, film versions of the Daddy Long Legs, Daddy Long Legs with Mary Pickford, Daddy Long Legs with Janet Gaynor, Curly Top, 1935 film with Shirley Temple based on the novel. Daddy Long Legs Dutch Film, Daddy Long Legs with Leslie Caron, My Daddy Long Legs 1990 Japanese Anime TV Series, Daddy Long Legs Korean Film. References External links, Daddy Long Legs at Calliope-audiobooks.com Daddy Long Legs at Project Gutenberg, Public Domain Audio Recording of Daddy Long Legs